Hello, welcome back. Thanks for clicking on this video. So today we are going to take a look at my recommendation for the five must-have SLGs that I have in my collection and I believe are a good idea for a well-rounded collection. Now we'll start with Louis Vuitton and then we'll move on to Chanel and then we will move on to my newest um, item from Fendi. So I believe Every well-rounded SLG collection needs to have a key holder. You definitely need a key holder to start your collection, if that, even if that's the first piece that you ever buy. I think that is a wise one. So the one I have is the Louis Vuitton 6 key holder in the monogram canvas. I have had this forever. I don't even know how long I've had this. Probably like, I reckon I'd be bordering on like 8 years or something. It, it's been in my collection for a very, very, very long time. The colour is poppy, so I was lucky enough to get the very last um, of the poppy colour and then it was discontinued. So very, very happy I managed to get this colour. As you can see, there is a lot of wear and tear on my key holder because I have had it for so long and I've used it so much. I have had the reglazing done on it twice, I think, at Louis Vuitton when they send them away and reglaze. And each time it's been done, it comes back and it just looks pretty much like brand new again. The last time I had the button um, redone as well, because you can do that. They can send it away and you can get a replacement button. So I'll just show you what it looks like. Now I'll just move all my keys out of the way because there's heaps of them. But basically it has six little clips to put your keys on that just hang down. It has a slip pocket at the back here that you can use to put a credit card or cash in. I've never actually used that but I imagine it could be pretty handy for some people. I had a B put in the corner for Billy. So it's just very very basic. It just holds all your keys, clips together, but what's amazing about it is it stops the inside of your bags getting scratched. It keeps all your keys inside Nice, you know, keys are dirty things, you know, they can make your bag dirty. So it's nice just to have them all contained in one little pouch to go inside of your nice handbags. So yeah, my first recommendation is definitely a key holder of some sort. And I really, really do like this one. I've had it, yeah, forever. So it's held up extremely well. And yeah, I think key holder is a great starting point. Now the next Louis Vuitton item that I would recommend as part of my top five SLGs you must have in your collection is a coin holder. Now I have the Louis Vuitton round coin holder. This one has since been discontinued. I've also had this in my collection forever, um, but it just doesn't seem to ever show wear. It's pretty much still in perfect condition. There is some patina ring on the vachetta, but I mean, that's standard. It's not even really that dark. The gold hardware has very, very little scratching and tarnishing on it. The zipper on it is super easy. It's a nice smooth zipper. It also has the canvas on the inside. It is extremely durable and hard wearing. I feel like this little coin pouch is pretty much indestructible. It just has ruddily dirty coins in it, you know, all the time and it still looks perfect. It protects your wallets from coin damage and, and dirtiness from coins. So I think something like this is definitely a great idea to keep your coins out of your handbag and your probably nicer um, designer wallets. This round coin purse is discontinued and if you can manage to get your hand on one of these old style ones, definitely do it. They don't come up for sale very often on the resale market, but occasionally they do. And I actually ended up purchasing this one off the resale market, but I mean, not recently, years ago. And I got it at a discounted price and I'm so glad I did because it's really, it's an awesome piece to have in your collection. Just because this one is discontinued doesn't mean that you can't get them. Every Christmas, Louis Vuitton brings out a Christmas animation um, range and they do tend to, as far as I know, always bring out a round coin purse in that Christmas collection. So if you are lucky enough to get your hands on one, obviously it's very, very difficult to purchase from the Christmas collection because it sells out really fast. If you can get in quick enough, definitely uh, grab one of these because I think it'll be one of your most used SLGs. 
Moving along to Chanel. Now I have really downsized my SLGs. I used to like really big wallets, but now I just don't. I definitely prefer to purchase mini bags. So I need mini wallets to go in them. So the next one on my list is the Chanel Zippy card holder. So this one just has a really nice smooth zip and it just opens out and it has three card slots. And man, can you fit a lot of cards in here? Like. I sometimes have this absolutely chocked. I reckon you could probably fit 20, maybe even more cards in this because it is quite thick. It can definitely hold heaps. You can put cash in one slot. You can put um, like loyalty cards, in bank cards. You can put coins in here if you want. Although depending on the color, on this sort of color one, I wouldn't put coins in it because I don't want dirty coin marks in it. I'd rather just put my coins in here. But this is definitely a great mini wallet. I have had two of these in the past. This is the second one that I have purchased. If you would like to see a review video on this, you can check it out. I will link it above somewhere and in the description. But yeah, this is an awesome little wallet, although certain bags it won't fit in because it is quite wide and a little bit bulky. So this is a great alternative for a small bag, but maybe not a mini, mini bag. The one I have is iridescent lambskin, I believe. So this can be a little bit more delicate than say the caviar leather. So if you are looking for one that you don't really need to baby too much, probably go for the Chanel caviar leather. But if you like a pretty color or, you know, a nice texture or soft, you know, just something that stands out a little bit more, uh, there's a lot of different alternatives in the lambskin. So the next one I'm going to show you is a better alternative for really small bags. As opposed to this, I also have this. Now this one is a lot thinner, although I do have it, you know, packed with quite a lot of stuff at the moment. It is definitely thinner than this one. So if you have a more streamlined bag that you don't have too much space in, this is a really awesome alternative. This is black caviar leather as opposed to iridescent lambskin. So you can see the difference. The lambskin is very soft and supple, whereas the caviar has a grain to it. So caviar is definitely less likely to get damaged or show uh, signs of wear than lambskin. So if you're looking for something a little bit easier to take care of, the caviar leather is a great alternative and one that I would definitely recommend. I mean, I just bought this because it was such a pretty color, but I generally in Chanel always tend to buy caviar leather because it's just easier to look after. So this one can also fit heaps of cards. It has a slot in the front. Just take my cards out. It has two slots in the back. I've got a heap of cards in the middle and receipts and different things. So yeah, this also fits heaps and heaps of items, but it's just a more streamlined, thinner alternative for those different sorts of mini bag. I have also done an unboxing video on this little cutie. So if you are interested in that, I will also link it above and in the description so you can head over and check that one out. Now the last item I'm going to show you is my newest just grab it for you. It is a micro, nano, mini, whatever, teeny tiny little purse bag on a strap. Now I did purchase this last week, so it is brand, brand new to me. I haven't even taken the sticker off yet, but this is called the Fendi Nano Baguette Charm. So technically it is a bag charm that you can stick onto other bags by using this little hook or you can wear it as a crossbody with the strap that comes with it. It's a very, very small, skinny, delicate strap. But as you can see, I have got my car card in here and I have five bank cards, which I feel like five is pretty much your sweet spot for this. You don't really want to put any more than that in, but this is perfect. I've been using this um, for about a week now. I've been using it every single day. And then I just carry my phone because obviously it doesn't fit way too big but it's been really handy for you know school drop-off running to the supermarket this morning my son ran in his school cross-country so I wore it to that just carried my phone it's a super easy um, very lightweight option 
if that's what you're looking for. If you, for times when you don't want to carry, you know, a huge bag. Oh, there's a fly buzzing around. Just for times that you don't want to carry a whole bag, you know, you want to pop down to the supermarket or whatever. You don't want to carry, you know, huge bag, huge heavy bag. I have this in the coated canvas, which I guess is similar to Louis Vuitton Monogram, which is a canvas product as well. So this is super hard wearing because it is coated. It's going to be pretty good on the wear and tear, I believe. Probably won't really show too many signs of wear, but it does come in a huge variety of different options. So like Napa leather in a various different colors, um, mink, sheepskin or sheep's wool. Yeah, heaps and heaps of different variations of this one. But I definitely like to go with a classic print. I don't really tend to go with um, in fashion trends. So that's why I purchased this because this is just a classic Fendi print design color. If you would like to see me unbox my new little cutie, I just did a video on this bag, all about it, all the details, the price, the dimensions, unboxing everything. So I will link that video for you up above and in the description so you can go and check that out if you're interested in this. I hope you enjoyed my little short but sweet five of my favorite must-have SLGs to have in your collection. What do you think? What do you think of the five? Good choices? Do you have any of these items already and what do you think of them? Make sure you let me know in the comments below. Check back here every week I will upload a new video. If you write to me in the comments I will always reply. And please consider subscribing to my channel. Help me get to a thousand subscribers. Have a great day. Thanks. Thanks for watching.